Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a quick rundown on these motors that we received. They're basically for multi-rotors. Uh, they were sent out by FPVmodels.com. Jason from FPV Models actually sent these out, and he sent them out to a number of um, other pilots and a number of other reviewers to actually review these. So you probably want to check those other reviews out and see what others thought of them. Uh, there's a thread on RC Groups, which I'll have a link in the description for, so it's probably worthwhile having a read through that. And um, basically, he sent these out because he wanted some feedback in terms of what improvements they need, needed to make uh, to improve upon these uh, motors. So um, we got a hold of these a couple of weeks ago now, and we've tried them out, and they seem to be quite good. First thing I want to do is give you a rundown exactly what you get with the motors, or a little bit about the motors. Now, as you can see, they're 2300 kV motors, um, and the machining on these things is really quite nice. I'm not sure how well you can see that but the machining is quite good. And also, if you look at the windings on these, um, pretty nice windings. So hopefully the production versions of these come out as good as these motors themselves. Now, I believe they produced 100 of these that were sent out for people to try and review. So there's a, a fair number of these actually out there at the moment being tested by a number of pilots. So the cabling they've used on these is quite nice. You can twist this cabling around. It's quite soft. So that's really, really good. So what we're going to be doing is testing these motors out on Thomas's Minion. Um, and this will serve as a pretty good test platform because Thomas has already tried uh, two other motors on this, actually three other motors on this. And it'll give him a good idea exactly how these motors stack up um, compared to what's already out there on the, uh, on the market. So as far as uh, what comes with it, you've got the hardware pack, uh, which is just basically got your screws, etc. You've got two types of options as far as uh, prop adapters go. So obviously if you're using a carbon prop, you can use this type or you can use uh, these types. So we use these type of prop adapters with the gem fan props. Now, one of the downsides with these is they come with a four millimeter adapter. And I believe they're going to be with the production versions, they're going to come out with the 5mm adapter, so that's going to be really ideal for anyone running a prop with a 5mm uh, hole in it. So it means you don't have to run uh, those little spaces. Uh, obviously, less issues with jello, etc. So the look of these motors are quite good. It's just going to be interesting to see how they go now on the quad. We'll get it out there and um, test it out and see exactly how they perform. Unfortunately, it's quite windy today, but we'll see exactly how we go with them. As far as price point goes, look, I believe they might be around about the $20 mark, but I'm not 100% sure of that. So you may want to wait till it's actually up on the site and go by that. I will have a link in the description for these motors. Anyway, what we'll do is jump straight into the flight footage. Hi guys, Paul and Thomas here. Hello. And this is the actual first flight we tried the motors on. Um, the weather wasn't the best, was it? No, we have been having really bad weather in Melbourne. Well, the surprising thing was it was a really good day this day and it was no wind and I picked you up from school, had the motors already installed, ready to go and by the time we got to the park, the wind just picked up, didn't it? Yeah, it was just basically like, oh, you guys are considering testing those new motors. Oh, no, 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 we can't have that. <laughs> and, and the other irony was it was really turbulent, the air. So especially coming off that um, embankment there, it was terrible as you came off it. Um, but having said that, look, once you got a bit of speed up, it was actually really smooth, wasn't it? Um, yes, it's definitely a performance motor. So um, as far as your point of view as the pilot, how did you find them? Um, very good. In slow flying, they are really nice and smooth in their transition, so you can really control your altitude. And once you get the throttle on the white, right thing, I find this a bit hard with some of the other motors. It just holds there. Yeah. Um, well, you did a few goes where you actually let go of the sticks in manual mode and it just sat there for ages, didn't it? Yeah, that's it's really nice. Like It holds altitude really well. Um, I also did my first flip and stuff, and I was doing it hovering, so I had to put his power on to recover, and it recovered nice and easily. Well, that but that was in the video we took today, which isn't obviously part of this video footage, but um, I will get video of his first flip up a little later on. Um, but anyway, look, as, as far as the motors go, look, they're, they're performing quite well. The look, what do you think of the look of them? Uh, they look really expensive, really, they're machined really nicely. They've got a lot of bling, haven't they? That's why I would yes. describe it, isn't it? Very bling. Very, very bling, as far as if you can consider a multi-rotor, blingish. Well, yeah, most of them are carbon fibre with a PCB board on them. Yeah, but anyway, look, the motors are working well. Look, I'll have a link in the description for the motors. Um, Jason has confirmed, this is Jason from FPV Models, that they are they have gone into production with these. They are going to be coming out. That's just my wife SMSing me, sorry. They are going to be coming out with the 5mm uh, adapter, so people running 
uh, props like the gem fan won't have an issue at all with them. So you won't have to run those little spaces. Um, that's about it, I think. And there's also a thread in RC Groups, as I mentioned before. I'll have a link in the description for that. A lot of the testers that have tried the motors out, you can actually read their opinion and ask them what they thought of these motors. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll let you watch the rest of it, and hopefully you enjoy it. See ya.